Alright, hey guys and welcome to the channel. You read the title, so let's get started. So you're gonna want to head over to the Super Smash Flash 2 website. I will leave that in the link in the description down below. And you wanna head over to Downloads. Now this is the important part. You're gonna wanna download Windows 64-bit portable instead of installer. Trust me on this one. Installer takes a long time and I don't really notice a performance difference. And it's gonna bring you to the download link. After it's finished downloading, make sure you add it to the downloads directory. After that, you're going to want to extract it and add the folder to wherever you want. And make sure you delete the zip file as well when it's done extracting. Next, go into the folder and find the exe launcher. You're going to want to right click it. In my case, I use a mouse and add it to Steam. After that, we're going to want to head to gaming mode and I'll show you how to set it up there. Alright, so now that we're in gaming mode, you're going to want to head over to library and non-steam. After you found it, you're going to want to go into the game's properties and select either GE Proton or Proton Experimental. Now, I don't really notice a difference too much, but I recommend Proton GE. If you don't have Proton GE, I will leave a quick video in the link in the description, but it is not necessary for the tutorial, so I'm going to pick Proton Experimental. After that, you're going to want to head over to the controller icon and click edit layout. Now you're going to want to set the right trackpad as mouse and the click button as left mouse click. Now we can finally launch the game. Now you're going to want to click through all of this with the right mouse trackpad and press play. After that, you're going to want to go into options and controls. I recommend using the keyboard and mouse template and I'm going to leave the game's controls up to you because it's up to personal preference. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1k subscribers by the end of the year and I would really appreciate it.